Okay, we'll come again to our last session of uh, energy diagrams and bone harbor cycle. Here are questions where we are going to be using bone harbor cycle, but here this time around we are involving enthalpy, we are involving bond energies. So basically, uh, we are going to have uh, questions to do with bond energies. And uh, they have told us that we are given enthalpy formation of methane and atomization energy of carbon and hydrogen as these respectively. They want us to capture the bond energy of carbon hydrogen bond. That is our first question. Our second question, they gave us the standard heat of formation of phosphorus trichloride as a negative 306 kilojoules per mole, and the bond dissociation energy and enthalpy of atomization of chlorine and phosphorus have been given as 242 and 314 kilojoules per mole, each one is in kilojoules per mole, respectively. So they want us to draw bond harbor cycle for formation of phosphorus trichloride, and then we use it to calculate the phosphorus chloride, phosphorus chlorine bond energy. Then after that, then after this, then also they want us to use the bond harbor cycle to capture the enthalpy of formation of chloromethane using the data given. They gave us the bond energy of carbon carbon bond. They gave us the bond energy of carbon chlorine bond. They gave us the bond energy of carbon hydrogen bond. They gave us the enthalpy of atomization. Yeah, I was abbreviating some of these, but this is the enthalpy of atomization of hydrogen. They've given us bond dissociation energy of chlorine. They have given us the enthalpy of atomization of graphite. You need to know that here they mean carbon. Then they uh, they want us to calculate basically the enthalpy of formation of chloromethane. Then our last example would be they want us to calculate the bond energy of uh, hydrogen of hydro hydrogen chloride, yeah, bond energy of hydrogen chloride, given that the hydrogen-hydrogen bond energy is that, the chlorine-chlorine bond energy is that, and the enthalpy formation of hydrogen chloride is that. We are going to go through this very fast, and then after that, we are going to be left with only two concepts, that is enthalpy of neutralization and enthalpy of precipitation. So let's see how it goes. For the first question, hope you had copied them. Uh, they want they gave us enthalpy formation of methane. Methane, when they say enthalpy formation, that is where a compound is formed from its constituent uh, atoms, rather elements. So plus hydrogen to give us methane, and you know that methane is CH four. Here is a two because of a four. Then here we have enthalpy formation. And it was being given as a negative seven five kilojoules per mole. Then uh, they gave us uh, atomization energy of carbon and graphite. They gave us atomization energy of carbon and graphite, meaning that, uh, sorry, of carbon and hydrogen, sorry. So carbon is being converted to its gaseous atom. And uh, at this, we are given the enthalpy of atomization of carbon. And it's been given as 715 kilojoules per mole. Then we're also given the enthalpy of atomization of hydrogen. But remember, we are forming four atoms of hydrogen, gaseous atoms. We form, when they say atomization, you form three gaseous atoms. So when you sum up this, you will get your methane. So here, we are going to have uh, four times the atomization energy of hydrogen.
And uh, so it is going to be four times two, one eight. But remember this one here, methane, we have four carbon hydrogen bonds because it is carbon bonded to hydrogen, bonded to hydrogen, bonded to hydrogen, bonded to another hydrogen, making it four. So yeah, we shall have enthalpy of bond energy kind of carbon carbon bond. So by Hesse's law, by Hesse's law, I can complete it from here by Hesse's law. We know that uh, enthalpy formation from that diagram is going to be equaling to enthalpy of atomization of carbon plus enthalpy, that is four, enthalpy of atomization of hydrogen, then plus four enthalpy, we have bond energy of our carbon hydrogen bond. When you substitute here, we have negative 75, is equal to enthalpy of atomization of carbon, that is 715 plus 4 times 218, then plus 4 bond energy of carbon hydrogen. So when you work out this, uh, you can bring out everything this side. We shall find out that uh, when you multiply this, when you work on this also, then you bring them this side, you'll be having negative 1662 is equal to 4 dHbe of carbon hydrogen bond. So you can get the final answer by dividing by 4. So you divide by 4 both sides and you get your bond energy, carbon hydrogen bond, as negative 1662 over 4, which is negative 415.5 kilojoules per mole. That is what we shall have as the first example. Second example, second example, um, our second example, we have been given the standard heat of formation of phosphorus trichloride. So we need first form phosphorus trichloride and phosphorus is a tetratomic molecule. So to form trichloride to react with chlorine gas and we are going to form phosphorus trichloride solid. We've been given enthalpy of formation. Yeah, we've been given enthalpy of formation of phosphorus trichloride and it was given as negative, zero, z, negative 306 kilojoules per mole. When you balance this equation, this side we have one phosphorus atom. So allow me say a quarter here so that I get one phosphorus atom. And these chlorines are three. So let me say three out of two. So that when the two cancels with these two, I mean with three chlorine atoms. Now they gave us um, the bond dissociation energy and atomization of chlorine and phosphorus respectively. So phosphorus undergoes atomization and we shall form one phosphorus gaseous atom. And uh, it was given as 314, that energy. So yeah, we have enthalpy of atomization of phosphorus. Then yeah, we've got bond dissociation energy, but it is a three over two moles dissociating. So allow me to say that it is three over two times two four two. So this is our, uh, we are forming three chlorine gaseous atoms. So of course here yeah, we have done it as the three over two times bond dissociation energy of chlorine. Then when these two combine phosphorus atom plus three chlorine atoms, we are going to form what we call phosphorus trichloride. And as you can see, phosphorus trichloride, if this is phosphorus, we shall have a chloride, we shall have a chloride, and another chloride. So there are three phosphorus chlorine bonds. Therefore, here we shall have three times uh, enthalpy of bond energy of which bond? Phosphorus chlorine bond. Implying that if you apply Hesse's law, Hesse's law by Hesse's law again, by Hesse's law, 
it would mean that uh, our enthalpy of formation of phosphorus trichloride would be equaling to uh, enthalpy of atomization of phosphorus plus three over two uh, enthalpy of bond dissociation energy of chlorine, then plus three times enthalpy of bond energy of phosphorus chlorine bond, yeah? So on substitution, shall have negative 306 here is equals to 314 for enthalpy of atomization of phosphorus, then plus three over two times 242, yeah? Then plus three, ah, BD bond energy, phosphorus chlorine bond, yeah? So when you bring this, when you uh when you keep it there, you'll be having that um, negative 306, you can subtract 314, then minus, when you multiply that, it will be 726 over two uh, is equals to three times uh, bond energy of phosphorus chlorine bond. So now to get the bond energy of phosphorus chlorine bond, you first take this difference here, and this will be negative 983. Negative 983 is equal to three bond energy of phosphorus chlorine bond. Now you realize that to get the bond energy of phosphorus chlorine bond, you divide negative 383 by three. So I'm continuing it from here. And uh, after dividing by two, I'll get the enthalpy of bond energy of phosphorus chlorine bond, and this will be equaling to negative 983 by three, which will be negative 327.667 kilojoules per mole. That is our number, that is our number two. So our number three, our number three, or our second last number, they want us to calculate the enthalpy of formation of chloromethane, rather chloroethane, actually chloroethane. So given the concepts that were given, our question three, uh, to form chloroethane members, uh, chloroethane, remember, you first, you derive it from ethane. So it is CH3, CH3, this is ethane. So if we need chloroethane, we first form an alkyl group, ethyl group, by removing a, a three here, we make it a two, then we add a Cl. So chloromethane is CH3, CH2, Cl. So this is what they want us to form. Now, what does it imply? It means that uh, if I'm to write the equation for the formation of trichloroethane, rather chloroethane, it would be carbon, as you saw that it has carbon as an atom, plus we need hydrogens, then we need also chlorine from elements. We form enthalpy of formation is derived from uh, a constituent element. So we are forming chloroethane, CH3, CH2, Cl, it's a gas. And uh, here I will need enthalpy of formation, yeah? Now, balancing the equation, I have two carbons. So you put here two hydrogens, you have, uh, five, so we shall have five over two, so that these two cancels with this, so that we have five atoms of uh, of chlorine, of hydrogen, sorry, then chlorine here, we have one atom, so we shall divide this by a half. Make sure you don't balance this side of what you're forming, because we for enthalpy formation, one mole of a compound is formed, so we don't put anything, we are forming one mole, meaning we have to alter this side of the reactants to make sure that they are equivalent to the one mole of the compound being formed. So after this, they said that uh, enthalpy of atomization of graphite, graphite is carbon, so it's enthalpy of atomization. Remember, these are two atoms. So enthalpy of atomization, we shall multiply by two, because what they have given you is for one atom. Then here, uh, we shall be multiplying by five, enthalpy of uh, atomization of hydrogen. Then here, we have bond dissociation energy, which we shall be dividing by two, because this is a half moles, yeah? So here, we shall be getting two carbons after atomization, but there will be gaseous atoms. And here, we shall be getting five hydrogen atoms 
and there will be gaseous free atoms. Bond dissociation, we shall get chlorine gaseous atom. When you add these, you should be able to go to chloroethane. So it implies that here I'll be having two times 715 because the, this energy change will be uh, enthalpy of atomization of carbon. Then this will be uh, five times 216.5. Hope you had coped the question because five moles of hydrogen are being converted. So we have uh, five enthalpy of atomization of hydrogen. Then here we shall have a half dH because we have bond dissociation energy of hydrogen, of chlorine, sorry. So it is going to be 242 by 2. Now here, the compound we are forming has big much bonding in it. It has got much bonding in it because you're forming two carbons. If you are to split this, if you had split this into uh, some, uh, uh, you can see that we have carbon, and on this carbon you have five, uh, you have three hydrogens, CH three. That is it, CH three. These are the hydrogens. Then you also have another carbon bonded to two hydrogens. That is hydrogen and hydrogen. Then still to chlorine. Meaning that you have five carbon hydrogen bonds because this is one, two, three, four, five. So we have uh, here we shall have uh, enthalpy of bond energy. Then we shall sum up all the bonds that are being involved in here. So we shall have five. Let me say five, but we have uh, carbon hydrogen bonds. There are five of them in number. Then we shall add, we have one carbon carbon bond. So we shall have that carbon carbon bond. Then also we shall add the carbon chlorine bond, which is one carbon chlorine bond. So you can see, but the question wants enthalpy of formation. Remember all these bond energies were given to us. So it is very easy for us to take one. Now come and say that enthalpy of formation by Hess's law would be equaling to the enthalpy of formation of, of course, chloroethane. will be equaling to twice enthalpy of atomization of carbon plus five times enthalpy of atomization of hydrogen uh, plus a half bond dissociation energy of chlorine, then plus now you talk about this bond energy. Ah, the H of bond energy of five, carbon hydrogen bond plus carbon carbon bond plus carbon chlorine bond. So you substitute because they want enthalpy formation. So enthalpy formation will be going to two atomization energy 715 plus five to 16.5 plus 242 over 2, plus, now these bond energies, actually not plus, because all those bond energies were negative, so I will be subtracting. So even if you say plus, okay, 5 into negative, you have 5 into negative, it was, the one of carbon hydrogen was 413, And uh, the one of carbon carbon was 318. Was it negative or positive? Was it, they were given as positive. So we have to subtract, of course, here. Yeah, we shall have to subtract. So it is supposed to be minus. It's supposed to be minus. So here yeah, we shall have minus. Uh, Uh, we have 318 
and then also three, three, six. So we are subtracting after here. So you get the enthalpy of formation. When you work out that, see whether you get negative 85.5. So finally, they want us to calculate the bond energy for hydrogen chloride, given hydrogen, hydrogen bond energy as that, chlorine, chlorine bond energy as that. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, they gave us hydrogen, hydrogen bond energy as 433. Mm -hmm. Then also, they give us the chlorine bond energy as 242. And then they give us enthalpy formation. OK, so let's see. Here we have enthalpy of formation of hydrogen chloride. So for hydrogen chloride to be formed, we get it from hydrogen and then chlorine. This gives us hydrogen chloride gas. Enthalpy of formation. And it was given as uh, negative 91, yeah? Here, they have given us bond energies now. But this equation is not balanced. Here we have one atom, one atom. So you divide by, a, by two, you multiply by a half. Then now, hydrogen, hydrogen, bond energy. Since it was given as the 433, now here we shall be dividing it by two because we are associating one more one more. it is for one more but here we have a half moles so it is 715 over two sorry it is four three three over two mm -hmm. this is hydrogen then here this is 242 over two and here you're forming chlorine Gaseous atom, then here you're getting that. So here we shall have bond energy of which bond? Hydrogen chloride bond. And that's what they wanted us to calculate. They want us to calculate the bond energy of hydrogen chloride. So we shall have this. Now, by Hesse's law, enthalpy formation. is equal to enthalpy of formation is going to be equal to uh, the bond energy of hydrogen, hydrogen we shall be dividing it by two plus the one of chlorine Shall be dividing it by two, then plus the one of hydrogen chloride. So this was given as negative ninety one is equals to four three three over two plus. Uh, 242 over 2 
Anyway, you can bring everything this side, can substitute appropriately for the viewer. I want to assign you this. Substitute appropriately. Enthalpy formation you have, this one you have, this one you have. Bring them this side and get this. Okay, so I want to go beyond this. Uh, let's meet in other video, which will feature enthalpy of neutralization. and the enthalpy of precipitation. This is our next video to be about enthalpy of neutralization and enthalpy of precipitation. We shall look at the experiments to determine both, and then we do some calculations. Wish you well.